You. Yes, you. You could win a hundred bucks. What? A hundred bucks. More details. <laughs> More details to follow. But first, my grumpy lumberjack and I are cutting some spalted maple at the sawmill. And then I'm going to take some kiln dry hardwood and make some charcuterie boards. Let's go. Diary. My inner awful moment. Fear, uncertainty, doubt. Is anyone gonna like these DIYs? Do they like the new setup of my videos and content where I show the sawmill, doing woodworking at the shop, and then creating a DIY? I hope I'm going in the right direction. I need money for the mission. And I really don't want to go back to my corporate job. So I'm hoping this works. <laughs> I'm in a collaboration today with a bunch of my friends. The host is Brandy at the DIY Struggle. She's creative and hilarious. You gotta go check out her channel. So good. This week, we're all getting together and we are gonna do Pottery Barn dupes. So, you take a piece off Pottery Barn that you like or inspires you and you recreate it. Make it your own. I chose some charcuterie boards and put my own little spin on it. You have a chance to win a hundred bucks. You have to hop to the playlist. At the top of the playlist, there's going to be Pottery Barn Dupes. You watch those videos, the Pottery Barn Dupes. Each creator will ask you a question, and you answer the question in their comments below. If you answer all of the creator's Pottery Barn Dupes questions, you could win 100 bucks. The winner will be drawn next Wednesday, November 17th. You have 24 hours to reply back when you are the winner. We had a we had a little bit of a rough go this week. We couldn't get a hold of the winner. <laughs> You just squeeze the lever and move it. And I can see I've got my light on. I can kind of see the angle there. And it's nothing scientific. I didn't like, oh, you gotta do a perfect 33 or 90. I just hand drew it. Okay, ready? Dragon's Breath. What is Dragon's Breath? It's my new product. I experimented a long time to get the formula just right. And I use a stencil brush, a cheap stencil I got off Amazon, and you stipple it on. I also have a really bad habit of smooshing. I think that's a technique. Let it dry, maybe 20 minutes, half an hour. Nothing happens, nothing. Then you take a heat gun, heat activate it, 
and a wood burning magically appears. I made this. I made this. I worked through my inner off fud moments and created this. It turned out way better than I even envisioned. Like, hello, a farmhouse wood burning on a charcuterie board. I love it. My question to you today is, what are you getting off your crafting bucket list? This week we are trying to bring awareness to domestic abuse. Morgan was a young lady who broke up with her boyfriend and her boyfriend murdered her. If you would like to find out more information or contribute to this important cause, check out my links in the description below. Love you, bye.